the formidable robot. By far one of the most disturbing episodes in this series is, Cybernetic Factory, basically their answer to Oddworld Soulstorm. It even follows a bit of the original game's story. In the episode, cybernetic workers at the factory drink a cola called, Neuron Cola, said to be the most addicting drink. However, it harvests the dead corpses of cyborgs and crushes them into a dark blue syrup, and mixes with a brown cola substance that makes up the cola. It's up to the three to put an end to the madness, potentially stand up and solve deeper into the unraveling mystery. The episode was made back in 2005, and what made the episode special was that in the credits, there were two details. Greenlit by Onworld Inhabitants, and, based on the video game Onworld Soulstorm by Sony. The episode started with the three entering a factory warehouse and meeting a business CEO cyborg. Oddly enough, the CEO was voiced by Trinoids and had a split personality who speaks in the voice of cellos, both different separate voices. The CEO started by saying, You better have a good reason why I dragged you rust buckets into my base. PC stepped in. We've been sent because our Intentronical National Graveyard Undertaker base is being revived, and thriving off of reviving cyborgs and turning them into mutated mushroom-like insane robots. PC said, giving the CEO the thumb drives. The CEO made a twitch as his second personality switched. Accordingly, the CEO dubbed the second personality as, Mr. Mothership. It seems that you bounty hunters have a point. I'll send this to my intern. Go ahead and explore the factory as much as you want before coming back. Mr. Mothership said, before whispering inaudibly to another guard. The three went to the laboratory, and this is when something unexpected happened. There was a clear sound pattern. The slurp of the workers drinking the cola, the slam of the mechanical pressure plates, and the clank of their hammers. Slurp, them, clank, repeated almost like a rhythm or a song. Even C-12 was humming a tune. A robot gave PC a can of the drink, and PC, wanting to be nice, cracked the can open and took a sip before immediately spitting it. The fuck? This tastes like decomposing robotic parts. Everything stopped. The machines, the workers, all stopped. What did you say? A New Yorker sounding robot asked. Yeah, you will hurt me. This tastes like decomposing robotic parts. Rotting robotic bodies. Corpses. PC said firmly. All the workers immediately got sick. There was a bit of a reaction from the CEO in the window, but realized it was for their own sake. During the period, a series of intense flashbacks were shown of cyborg corpses being grinded and turned into dark blue beverages. The CEO came down, now in his regular self, said the following. You three have a purpose, and I'm worthy to make a compromise. I wanna first graciously thank you for stopping the robots for drinking that. Mr. Mothership wanted them to drink it to expand their work habits, but it became too addicting. I wanna give you three an opportunity to leave the planet, and have you three board a special ship quickly. In return, I'll turn myself in for violating class action free labor laws. PC approached the CEO and put an arm around his shoulder. Listen, we know you didn't mean harm and we understand. I'll tell them to give you only a fine. PC said calmly. The CEO nodded as the three quickly ran out. What next? PC said to T-999 as they entered the ship. Connection. Our mission. T-999 said as a to-be-continued screen appeared. As of now, the episode was scrapped and then deleted from the episode list on all platforms, and only bootleg VHS tapes exist in the deepest parts of the web if you look hard enough. We are just at the final piece of the puzzle, the final episode. To quote Scar from The Lion King, be prepared.